is Sean Barrett Pickney. I am a courier. I work in Hocassin, Delaware. So for me, being able to use my art as my, my fashion as art, I, I had a chance to really tell my story and not not have to hold back because of wanting to sell, so to speak, wanting to, to make a, a profit, so to speak. So when I did the art pieces, the art pieces tell the story of a black gay man who grew up in public housing in Philadelphia and who also had entree due to his parents' work into the world of the elite. Um, and I took those, I took that story and I put it together in clothing but then in the setting of clothing, I wanted to tell stories about my journeys and my travels and the things that I have encountered, um, the malicious things. There, there were times where, you know, when I did Journey, Journeys, was a, Journeys, the, the exhibit was a very, very heart-wrenching in some points, but it was also beautiful. It, it encapsulated so much of who I, who I am. Um, there's a piece in Journeys that is uh, called the Keloid Cardigan, and that, that piece was uh, inspired by the image of a slave who had been beaten and whose back was completely scarred in keloid. And what I wanted to use, what I wanted to do to talk about that, there's a scripture that says, I will give you beauty for ashes and a garment of praise to lift the spirit of heaviness. So what I wanted to do with that cardigan was lift the the one side. When you look at something like that, you only see the hurt. And in my life, there was a lot of pain. So I had to find a way to find some beauty in my pain and use it. So I took the pier lace uh, and, and reapplied it to the back of that cardigan where the scars would have been on his back. So, uh, so when, when I do an installation, an installation is, a, is my way of showing the world that th th there were atrocities that happened to everyone. This is a way for you to A, think about it, for you B, to not be ashamed of it, and C, most of all, to have an open dialogue about what you feel in the safe space. So my visual um, installations allow those conversations to happen. They're not always nice. You know, most people think that that, you know, some people thought that was a little bit much, but it was my story. You know, so installations allow me to use fashion done well and tell a story about my journey so that's what that that's that's what i love about being able to create and being able to be uh, an artist also there's designers who do installation art as runway shows uh, alexander mcqueen was another one who did those things victor and ralph they did the same thing um it depends again as an artist it, it really depends on who you are and how you want to show who you are, you know. Um, I don't allow myself to be put into a box where I have to do things a certain way. I do exactly what I want to do. I do it how I want to do it. The one thing that I use that's so important and when I do things is that I make sure that I am not being offensive and that I am giving homage and, and honor to the thing that I am doing. And, and that's what I think is the most important piece of and of art, be it in fashion or, or, or sculpture or you know painting, I think though I think you have to be able in telling a story to be to, to be sure that you're being honorable to that story. You know, it's that you have to be true to your aesthetic and you have to be honest and open about what it is. And then you also have to think about what do I want from this? What do I want? Who am I? What, what, what am I doing this for? You know. So those are the things that I think makes it a, 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 an important decision on how you show and and it. It's all about what you want to say at the end of the day.